Hello, welcome back. Tom here. I've actually got the last final items shipped to me. As I said before, I kind of ordered a lot of the components for a startup of into the leather crafting, like off Amazon. I have quite a few items that did come in for the final shipment. However, I want to just focus on this one item. It seems to be a little controversial with leather crafters since some of them have the opinion get you into leather crafting by getting a simple toolkit or it actually a lot of the tools are substandard and if you're serious about leather crafting you should be individually piecing out your order. I got this kit. It was cheap. Well, that seems to be enticing. It offered a coupon which made it more enticing and it only took a couple days to get here as well as the fact that it's a kit it has all these different parts to it. So I'm going to devote this video just to this one part. The other items are basically finished up and then hopefully we'll get into the leather crafting and try to make something from it. So here's the kit. As you can see, it's still in the bag. Nice thing is it's not sealed. So you don't have to watch me try to chew this open with my teeth. It's actually just taped shut. Sorry for the noise. Let me get rid of the plastic right away before it it drives me crazy, let alone you guys. All right, it's a pretty nice little kit. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know why it has a little handle here. I guess if you want to hang this off of like a pegboard or something. So here is the kit. Ta-da! Actually, it, it looks nicer than I expected. A couple loose parts that got moved around with shipping. Let's just go through this kit real quick. We have... Actually, little instructions, items, inventory list inside of this plastic bag to avoid continued noise and everything. I'll put this off to the side. Then we have different types of needles. As you can see why I ordered this kit, because it did come with quite a few items that you would figure as a brand new leather crafter would need. So a lot of thick needles. The nice thing is it tells you what they're used for so that you could try to identify which needle might be appropriate for what type of craft you're doing. Put that off to the side. All right, so what do we have? Let's talk about, right off the bat, everybody talks about. So they call them pricking irons. Uh, if they just poke, they call them punches, of course, which is expected. So what we have here is a six prong punch, four prong punch, and one prong punch. Let me move this over so you can see this a little bit better. They actually look bigger in the pictures. I have to tell you that it does look like they're a little rough. As far as the surfaces and everything, the edges seem a little rough as I run my fingers along it. I don't know if you could see it. There's some looks like some grinding marks or tooling marks that were left on it. And it doesn't seem to be a size that's stamped on it. However, I do recall four millimeter was the size that was listed. An important part that seems to mention quite a bit is a slicker used to burnish edges of the leather, try to get all the grains in one direction. So you get the glassy, glossy coat. We have looks like a tool that works with other tools. Oh, I see. It's one of these little do everything, but maybe not one specific thing very well tool. It looks like there's a groover scriber and two beveling blades that are inside. Sorry, this is the first time I'm opening it, so you can tell this is very unrehearsed. So if you're surprised by anything, so am I. So it looks like we have a tool for setting, sorry, we have an Allen wrench for setting the additional tools. There's one beveler, another beveler, However, I don't see a size on them, so I'll have to read the instructions. Oh, and a third bevler, excuse me, as well. Something that looks like, I guess, for scribing. And I'm really not sure what this is. I guess I'll find out. I'll put the plastic off to the side because I have a thing for making a lot of noise with plastic. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here, but I just want to quickly go over some of the things that just from me watching YouTube videos that I'm probably going to be using right off the bat as a brand new leather crafter, like the needles, the beveler, of course, punch, slicker, and let's not forget thread. I'll pull one of these thread items out. 
Um, hmm. It was advertised that it is wax thread, so I don't have to worry about waxing it. I do get a sharpening stone and several blades to go to this knife. Sorry, I just kind of jumped around. I just noticed that at least the, the nice thing about the kit is they provide additional parts, not just for your first project, but maybe multiple projects. So I have what looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different colored threads. I believe they're all the same size. Looks like about close to a millimeter as far as in their flat. We have, of course, any leather crafting requires some type of instrument to cut. And these crafting knives, extremely sharp. Take an extra caution not to stab myself. And there's some extra blades with it. Four or five blades that are inside. What we have here, actually, I'm not even sure about this wheel. This, it looks like some type of scribing wheel. I believe some people use it for marking out their stitch holes. I'm going to use the punch. And then, of course, hole punches. The nice thing about these hole punches, I do see that there's a groove on the side. So as the material gets punched through, they should be self-cleaning. We'll see how well that works. And once again, it doesn't feel very smooth or sharp on the edge. So maybe a little bit of sandpaper for some of these items might help out. So the hole punch and the forks being sanded a little might help out with the leather process. We have, looks like a needle awl because there's a hole right in the center of the needle. Then of course, another typical tool that'll be used is a scratch awl for everything from opening up the needle holes to actually taking a pattern and scratching into the leather itself. So I know I'll be using this quite a bit. See what other items we have. Little snippers, one file. It feels like the rougher side, and this is a finer side. So I'm probably gonna be using my own sandpaper. A ruler. All right, so this right here, I would suspect will leave the most number of comments below. This is the only straight edge for cutting. It has no cork back or some type of high friction back so it doesn't slide on the leather. I can imagine as I'm cutting this sliding injury myself, feeling this is going to be replaced right away. So I will just have it here in this pile on items that I suspect I'll be using right away. While other items, I'm not really too sure how well. <laughs> yes, it just looked like I tried to stab myself right there. I'm not too sure what is in here since it is heavily wrapped in plastic. It's another pricking wheel. I'm not sure if I'm using the term right, but this has very blunt points. Well, this item has a lot of sharp points and you can see one of them is poking right through the packaging. I'm going to put those aside since I'm probably going to hurt myself. Other than that, I'm trying to figure out if there's anything else in this kit that I might use right off the bat with some of my first projects. So punches may not be punching, doing riveting right away, but that's great for like 90 degree angles or sharp angles. The advice is to round off the inside corners of those types of cuts to try to prevent tearing or um, a focal point of stress and wear and tear. So of this kit, I'm not going to pull out the other threads, but it does look like the other thread items will come in handy. I think it's another scribe, a scratch all maybe, but more pencil shaped. Maybe that's helpful. And then what we have is it looks like I see this possibly coming in handy because when they take the thread loose ends and they melt them down with a lighter, some crafters actually use a tool like this to push the threads into the leather and basically blunt off the loose ends to help anchor the stitch. Let me just put everything here. That's not bad. I have to say I'm, I'm pressed. It was a very low priced item. The if it gets people more into leather crafting, I can see why some artisans agree that a kit like this is very beneficial for a new person. Looks like I have quite a bit to start with. Now, just in case you are interested in looking a little bit more on the online reviews of this kit, I'll 
put a link in the description below. And if you have an opinion or experience with these such kits, or you believe that you should be piecing out each individual item so that you can get the best for your new craft, please leave a feedback below. This is brand new stuff for me. I've never done this before and we'll see how it works out. I want to thank you for your time. Appreciate comments and feedback.